<laughs> hi guys good morning and happy new year guys i'll continue to say happy new year in all my videos till this january will end but yeah good morning guys welcome back to my channel i literally just woke up so my voice is a bit shaky you guys so but yeah welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi let me introduce myself to you guys my name is Kalu Amarachi, aka Topaz Curly, aka Ami Pound Sterling. Anyhow, you know me, Sha. <coughs> okay, so anyhow, you know me. But yeah, welcome to my channel. If you're, if this is your first time stopping by, welcome, join the family. Make sure you subscribe. Please be subscribing this channel. We subscribe in this channel. Please, please. And if you're a returning subscriber, the real deal so from the title of this video you already know what's going on you know so let's not talk too much let's get right into this video so yeah yeah this is my first time making this kind of video because i never used to do like get ready with me like do my camera and my my makeup on camera anyways just a disclaimer guys me i'm no i'm not I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup girl. I literally just learned makeup like, like when I can manage to do something on my face. That's just it, basically. That's all I can say. That is all I can say, you guys. So, but like in this video, right? It's like a chit chat, get ready with me type thing, and I'm going to be sharing with you guys a few things. A few things I have learned so far as an adult. First of all, I'll just, you know, put my setting spray first. I don't know, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't do it. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist and I just do my makeup wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Like, I don't care. I don't have, like, a procedure. So long as at the end, it's going to give me a beautiful result. Me no care about the, about the procedure. Okay? So, yeah. Okay, so one of the first things I learned, I've learned growing up, one of the first things I've learned so far, like, is not everybody is going to like you in this life. I mean, I, I, I mean, I'm sure you're tired of even hearing that, like, but for real, babes, not everybody is going to like you in this life. And that's perfectly fine. Not everybody is supposed to like you in this life. My first point is not everybody is going to like you. Not everybody is going to like you. And that's perfectly fine. So don't struggle to make people like you because babes <laughs> not everybody's going to like you me i don't like everybody in this world and it's like that and i'm sure a lot of people do not like me as well and that's fine i'm not angry about it that's it basically and i know that that leads me to like my next point guys you cannot please everybody in this world if you're some if you're people please i just stop because you just run mad you can't please everybody in this world my dear, like, this person, everybody has their own opinion in this world, right? And you can't please anybody. Absolutely. Because you cannot satisfy human beings. Like, you literally cannot satisfy human beings. So you can't please anybody at the end of the day. So just do whatever thing that you want to do. But make sure it's, like, ethically right. And to you, too, it's right, it's correct. It's actually what you want to do, right? So it's not like somebody is forcing you or anything. You get not like somebody's forcing you or anything. So just do whatever thing you wish to do. Whatever thing that pleases you, not pleases other people. Do you get? No matter what, like, you have to do what makes you happy at the end of the day. But like I said earlier, it has to be like ethically right and correct. Yeah. I'm not saying giving you the mandate to go and kill somebody or anything if that makes you happy, but no, like something that is ethically right. Do not be pleasing people up and down because you want to please them, you want to be in their good book. No, that's not how it works. That's not how it works. And another point is that I've learned that some friends are very seasonal, like some friends are seasonal, can't lie. And it's normal. I, I know I've been like a seasonal friend to people and people have been seasonal friends to me, you get like like for example now the um friends I had like in high school 
there are some friends i used to have like we are very close friends right but now you don't even chat anymore right we don't chat each other anymore and that's okay because they're like they were there for a season it's absolutely fine they were there for a season they were there for a purpose and they have fulfilled their purpose and it's time to move on so they have moved on to their own life you you have to move on so yeah it's perfectly fine to like have friends for the season like friends come and go yeah but then there are some friends that you have the real ogs that stick with you you have to be there with them till the end you have to be there with them like there are some people that like no matter what that they're like for example me i've i have like two friends that no matter the cycle of friends i've had in this life so like me anywhere i go i'm always making friends i have friends everywhere but like there are just two people that no matter what that they're like no matter what even if we go for like three months without talking to each other that just like they're always there those are like the real ogs and they know themselves if you know yourself comment down below <laughs> But anyways, so yeah, and that leads me to another point here, which is friendship is like really difficult, Jesus Christ. Over the few past few years, like over the past three years, actually, or more, friendship. Hey, ever since I started uni, like I started uni in, in, in Nigeria before I came here, bruh, when I tell you that friendship is difficult, <laughs> trust me, eh? girls and wahala it's like it's so crazy like i won't even like i don't even argue with people when people say girls are very dramatic they're actually very dramatic like girlfriends bruh you have to struggle in some friendships you really have to struggle in some friendships of which i don't even know if that if that is okay but friendship is hard sharp but there are some people that like no matter what happens no matter how much you do not like what they did to you you just have to be there for them you guys no matter how much you guys quarrel y'all will definitely make up right so that's where like it's hard like no matter what you do you're just there for the person like it's unconditional love type thing and it takes work you have to teach yourself how to love somebody unconditionally. And that's where, like, you have to take their bullshit in, no matter what they do. I'm not saying that, like, you can't confront certain situations. Of course you can. That's, like, what strengthens your friendship or whatever. But then, friendship needs a lot of work. You have to put in a lot of effort to build friendship. And it's a beautiful journey, can't lie. It's a beautiful journey to and back on i don't care all these people that use brushes to you know blend in their concealer and they mean not care about any brush i just they use my beauty blender beauty blender but anyways don't look at the process so because i'm not a makeup artist like i said earlier but anyways in this life try new things guys try new things is going to help you try like try new food recently not not recently though but like sometime last year was when i tried sushi for the first time i never like because they just don't cook some of it but but i learned that they cook some so like i obviously ate the one that they cooked because i'm not eating me i'm not eating any food that they did not cook any seafood that they did not cook like what the heck so yeah Try new things. I tried it last year and I absolutely loved it. So try new things. You may not exactly like that thing, but try it to so know if you like it. You get. But don't go and try risky things. So don't go and try things that will make you risk your life. But try new things. Things that actually would add value to your life. Try, try, try new things. Try new things. Me, I'm not saying like, I, obviously at this point in my life, self, me, self, I'm still trying to try so many things that are new to me you get you get me so many things that are new to me me i'm still trying to try them in life don't judge me and i won't judge you 
I use my lipstick. I love to try new things normally. Me, I'm somebody that loves to try new things. I love it. But like, I intentionally this year, like um, last year, uh, over the year actually, especially last year, I look like a clown. <laughs> especially last year, I tried intentionally to, I feel like this is a lot. But we'll blend it in. We always have our way around, around things and things. Me, I enjoy trying new things. Me personally, I enjoy trying new things. So I feel like you should too, babes. So yeah, another thing I actually have learned so far is that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Adulting is very hard. Adulthood must come. Adulting is like, bruh. Adulting is really hard. And like, I've, Adulting is like a phase where you're trying to navigate your life. Like you're trying to look out for yourself. Your parents are no longer responsible. I mean, they're responsible for you, but they're not fully responsible for you anymore. You have a lot of responsibilities. You have to achieve so many. You have a lot of goals to actually achieve. It's not easy to be an adult because you're trying to, you're responsible for your own actions. Your, your parents are no longer looking out for you, like, even if they are, they are not looking out for you as per, they are fully responsible for whatever thing you do, or however the way you choose to live your life, or fend for yourself, jige. So, like, you're literally um, looking out for yourself, nobody's going to give you that baby treatment anymore. So, like, you're trying to navigate your life, yourself through life, like, your mental health, everything about you is just like messy at this point in time. And that is like how adulthood is. Adulthood is like, uh, bruh, it's hard though, it's hard. And that like leads me to my new next point. I have become like more appreciative. If you give me like one cent right now, I'm definitely going to be very appreciative about it because at this point in my life, I'm, I'm working, right? And I'm making money. And I know the kind of labor I go through every day going to work. You guys, it's not easy. And, like, it made me appreciate everybody who has in any way contributed in my life. Financially or otherwise. If you have contributed in my life, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you very, very much. Because it's not easy to actually make money, you guys. It's not easy to make money. It's not easy to live thinking about himself. Like, what to eat, first of all. You come back every day. You come back and then there's always food in your table. You don't know what your parents have gone through to put that food on your table. And then some of us are out here, like, misbehaving and not giving a shit about it. It's like, bro. Mm. When you become an adult and you actually start fending for yourself because the adults that don't fend for themselves that still depend on their parents and when you actually start fending for yourself you would appreciate every single dime your parents have spent on you because the streets is rough you guys I, another point is that brav people are dying every day hey this is so scary but what can i say but i, I have to just say you can't be running away from the truth Anybody can die anytime. You know, like how I really, really confirmed it. It was like Christmas, I guess. Was it Christmas or November? One of them, like not Christmas, like December or November. One of those months, you guys. Hmm. When I tell you that I lost somebody that even in the ne nearest future, you told me that this person will die. Hmm. I feel fights you, Jigger. Like, you know, when somebody is so full of life, you would not expect he or she to actually leave this earth. That was how I felt. I was like, what? What? This person is dead. People are actually living this earth like every day of their lives. They are living this earth. Trust me, people are dying every day. And I don't even know how to feel about it. I know this may sound really scary at this point in time in my life. I'm already preparing for the worst you get. It's 
it's obviously not going to affect whoever that is dead because whoever that is dead is dead but it's like the loved ones that are going to be affected you get what i mean but then everybody is dying so live your life live a purposeful life live a life that people if they remember you they'll be like wow this person was this, this person was that make do with the time you have travel try new things make new friends be nice to people don't cause chaos in this world of ours that we are managing try to achieve your goals but if you don't don't be too hard on yourself because this life is not even that deep to be honest don't be too hard on yourself you definitely face challenges of life in this life and it's just the way you navigate and live through it is what matters so create memories take pictures while you're still alive make your living count guys make it count like let's be that when they remember amarachi or when they remember you be that they remember you for a very great reason and god forbid that is now our portion in jesus name because we are going to live we are going to live to the to see our great grandchildren say amen if you believe me you see when people say amen that seems to eat me out i'm like what is amen <laughs> but anyways it's actually okay to ask for help it's very okay to ask for help to people like you actually feel comfortable asking for help from it's good to talk to people because i have learned over the year that mental health is like very important me before eh if you tell me you have one mental problem or like you have you're not mentally stable you're not emotionally stable i will laugh at you bro but now i'm going up i'm beginning to like understand like people actually go through stuff and it's the best remedy is to talk to somebody can't lie even though those people are not going to like give you like the maximum re response or whatever thing you want to hear but it's always very nice to talk to people when you're going through stuff like it helps you it helps you get better at least for the time being it helps you get better it works guys it works try it buy something that makes you happy if shoes make you happy okay invest your money in shoes like buy shoes that make you happy buy things that make you happy actually buy tickets that make you happy buy stuff that make you happy if makeup makes you happy buy makeup things if if whatever thing that actually makes you happy just 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 buy it like buy it this life is too short though obviously spend wisely uh, save save oh you people guys i do not know if i want to fix lashes because the process is just so annoying but i don't know if i'm going to fix lashes but we'll see we'll see so as i do my my lips i'll tell you guys the last one the last and not the least you guys the last and not the least is that please never emphasis on never never ever in your life in your life me personally i will never ever in my life i will not advise people in love or relationship people that one mm -mm. you know i listen then i talk when people talk to me i listen and i talk i'm more of a listener than like I'm more of a listener than a talker like i talk a lot normally like when we are having normal conversations and when we are trying to hang out i talk a lot but when it comes to like being very vulnerable with people i'm more of a listener than a talker so now you're coming with me with a situation right which doesn't sit well with me and you're telling me because you want my own opinion i'm somebody that is not like i i will always tell you my own opinion about things like i would always tell you my own opinion about life or 
whatever situation it is and i'm not going to be biased about it if you like be my friend whatever situation it is if it's not cool it's not cool i'm gonna tell you that and just believe when you give somebody a relationship advice you guys trust me trust me when they come back together you see you that is the bad person in that relationship you see you want to spoil that relationship you're jealous of them you don't want their progress you're the one at fault. I, ha I usually have like answers. If you can't work it out, just break up with the person. Relationship is need to do what I So that I'll tell you to work it out with your partner or you break up. Most of the time it's break up. Let me not lie to you. But then at the end of the day, the relationship people, they will work it out themselves or they will decide to manage in the relationship and you are going to be the bad guy. You guys don't give relationship advice to relationship people that's on period there's no going back and forth about it do not give relationship advice to relationship people because when they come back together you're the bad person and that's on period there's nothing else you want to explain that will make you not look like the bad person you're the bad person and that's it for relationship people i'm just going to go ahead to set my face i do not know if i want to fix me um fix lashes because it's labor but that is it i will show you guys the finished look in a minute okay so guys here is the finished look i look so cute and yeah i finally did my lashes i eventually did my lashes but yeah here's the finished look and if you enjoyed this video as much as i did i enjoyed creating it actually and look at me you guys i look so cute okay if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe make sure you subscribe and like share and yeah i'll see you in my next video and let me know if you guys want more of you know sit down chit chat videos or my normal regular vlogs but yeah let me know in the comment section and i hope you learned something from this video yeah Bye, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.